Gay Bay State running here with Allie Rosby, the junior from Medfield. Uh, winner here in the mile, looks like 528 unofficially. Um, I heard you earlier, you would, your goal was to break 530, so yes. you did it. So uh, well, why do you think you're able to do it today? Um, I think it was all of the built up um, from the spring. I really wanted to race just every day I was out there on a run, you know. So I just like my motto going into this year, even though we have a few races, like just like run each one like it's your last because you never know when things like that are going to happen. Like I missed racing so much so I just have such a bigger appreciation for it now so I think that was a big piece. So, so take me through this race. When did you realize that you, you, you potentially had this race? Well, right about the fourth lap, I was right behind the two girls in front of me, which is where I wanted to be, but I felt like I could be going faster, and I was a little bit too comfortable, so I wanted to push my comfort zone a little bit, so I just went for it, and then I just kind of, and then someone passed me at the end, but I just had the energy left to keep going. Now I heard a soccer player during the fall. Um, I used to be a coach and I used to try to recruit soccer players because I know you guys are yeah. always running and, and you usually make good runners. Yes. Uh, so how has that helped you um, in, in converting right over to indoor track after you're playing soccer? Yeah, well I, during the summer it really helps, like training for soccer season helps to keep me. I also play um, outside mid or wing, so that's a quite a bit of running. So that always helps, which is good. And, and what's the goal for the season? Are you going to be doing some more of these MSTCA meets yes. and, as well as maybe the MIAA meets that are after that? Yeah, so um, now that I have break in 5.30 and my first meet, I definitely want to keep going down now that I know that I'm capable of that after the first meet. And tell me, how is it running with this mask on your face? Something we're not used to, obviously. So uh, how difficult is that? Or uh, do you train with it sometimes? Yeah, so I do train with them just to get used to it. Also, soccer season definitely helped with that. Um, playing with them all the time, you get used to it. Also, like, it does help with the dry mouth a little bit, I have to yeah. say. It traps some of the moisture. Um, it's definitely something to get used to, but you just got to focus on the race and not the mask. <laughs> are, are you looking at other races besides the mile that you're going to be running this year? Uh, yeah, so outdoor I run the 800. So maybe I'll run that at a few other meets where you can. And I also dabble in the 1,000 sometimes. That's about it. What, what do you get for PRs in those events? So my PR last year in the 800 was a 224. OK, so a quality time there. Um, the 1,000, I can't remember right now. I just did it once. But I liked it. But Allie, uh, congratulations today. Um, good luck the rest of the season. Thank Moving you. Moving forward with these meets and, and elsewhere, but great job. Thank you.